Welcome back guys to another episode of Hacks and Hot. In today's episode we are going to be shooting this year's Hoyt Axius Alpha up against last year's Hoyt Helix. So both basically the same bow, just a couple of years newer or a year newer on the Helix. So we're going to shoot these bows, see which one feels more comfortable and see if you should save a little bit of money and buy the Helix or uh, spend that extra money and get the uh, new Axia. See if that 2020 bow is uh, worth it. So if you want to see me shoot these two bows and decide on which bow I'd rather go home with today, then go ahead and stay tuned. First one up to bat is going to be last year's Helix. I'll show you guys the balance here. It does have a stabilizer up front, and then it has the uh, two-piece quiver on the side. I just didn't want to uh, unscrew that and take that off, so we are just going to end up leaving that. Um, I'm actually giving this bow away just for those of you guys that don't know, um, this bow is going to be given away. Uh, the way that you enter is by hat, and you can win this bow. You should go to hacksandhot.com and buy a hat. I think there's 20 hats left, so just uh, first come, first serve basically on that. So let's go ahead and pull this thing back and then shoot a few arrows. So let's draw this bow back, show you guys the draw cycle as well as that uh, back wall. Very smooth draw cycle. A little bit of a sponge in that back wall, but not bad at all. Um, having that stabilizer on the bow is going to obviously help with the uh, hand vibration and jump forward a little bit. But it does settle in very quickly, very nicely as well. So there's a little bit of hand vibration. You can kind of tell and feel that the uh, stabilizer is taking away some of that vibration. So that is that is nice. A um, little bit of hand jump forward, but not bad at all. Definitely shot worse. Yeah, very smooth shooting bow. Um, draw cycle is very smooth. I feel like they're Let's see. Let's draw this thing back, focus on. Yeah, it almost draws like it's a... Axius Ultra. I feel like it, it's got a much more smooth draw cycle than most bows that I've shot this year. Smoother than the RX-4. And I know, I haven't shot this in the video yet, but the Axios, I can already tell this one's already gonna be smoother because I have shot it in the past, but we're gonna shoot it and shoot it some more and then kind of define on where this where this helix is kind of taking that draw cycle and just try to figure out uh, the differences there so let's go ahead and pull back and shoot that axis and kind of see how it holds up against this helix all right so i've threw i've thrown a stabilizer on this one as well there is not a quiver so that's going to be the only difference i feel like that one's got a little bit more balance to it um do the draw cycle and see how that draw cycle feels. It's a bit of a steeper string angle as well. I would say it's about the same hand vibration. Let's focus again on that drawback. That helix has a, I would say, uh, 40% more of a, the helix has about 40% more of a smoother draw, in my opinion. Um, 
jump forward and hand vibration in this axis alpha. Let's do that again. Very minimum actually. Um, there's not a whole lot. It's about even with hand shock and uh, jump forward. They're both set up at 29 inch draws, 70 pound limbs, um, shooting a 480 grain arrow. And yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty similar after the shot. The only difference that I can truly tell are the string angle is steeper on this as well as the uh, draw cycle is not nearly as smooth. You can definitely tell that you are shooting a smaller axle axle bow. Um, let's see. Shoot this helix again and see how that feels. Focus in on it one right after another. Yeah, much, much easier to draw. Much more smooth. String angles of a little bit wider as well. Not a whole lot, but you can tell. Um, yeah, I, just from the initial couple shootings, this Helix is kind of taking it from me, I would say. But we do need to shoot them through the chronograph and kind of see the speeds that uh, they are throwing out there. And then, um, that's about, that's about it. I mean, this one is sighted in. The Axis is not, and I know I can hold a freaking steady uh, shot on this because I have split a couple of arrows with this exact bow. Um, so I know this one holds a super good group. This Axis, it's not as sighted in, but I, I mean, I feel like I can hold it. Not quite as good as the Helix, but we are gonna do two arrow grouping. We're gonna shoot through the chronograph and just kind of see um, how both of them are performing and then Pick which bow I'd rather go home with today. All right, we're gonna shoot both these bows through the chronograph real quick. The Hoyt Helix is gonna be up first with the 440 grain, or sorry, this is the 480 grain arrow, 70 pounds, uh, 29 inch draw. So let's see what speed it's getting. Right there at 284, and then right here with a 440 grain arrow. Two ninety nine. So the four hundred and eighty grain arrow is shooting four eighty four, or sorry, two eighty four, and then the uh, four hundred and forty grain arrow is shooting two ninety nine. So just right under that uh, three hundred mark. And uh, so let's shoot that Axius Alpha and see if it's about the same or if it's quicker. First up is going to be the four hundred and forty grain arrow. Two ninety nine. So that one is exact, exactly the same. These are both set up at seventy pounds, twenty nine inch draw. They're at two eighty one. So basically, apples to apples on the speed uh, between the Axis and the Helix. So let's uh, go shoot them through or a couple arrow groupings and kind of see which one feels and shoots a little bit better in my hand. I'll let you guys know which one I'd rather pick. All right, so now we're gonna do two arrow grouping here. First up is going to be the Axis Alpha. Shoot this bow. Hold on, move this string that's marked for the peep sight. All right, arrow number two. Felt good with that first shot, so should be pretty good group with these two bows. Great group in there, and I'll shoot that uh, helix. And we've got this helix. Let's see what 
it is shooting. Oh, that draws so much more smooth. I did not expect it. First shot. I'm gonna smack this arrow. Great group in there. Um, and I did just realize and forgot to mention, so this, so the Helix is set up with a drop away rest and the Axis is set up with a whisker biscuit. So with the speed test there, the, the Axis is probably a couple feet per second quicker. Um, due to having that whisker biscuit, it pull about the same numbers as the Helix. So disclaimer there, totally forgot about that. So just wanna let you guys know. All right, so right here, we've got the uh, Axis, great group there. And then up here, we've got the Helix, great group there. So both are shooting very well. All right guys, that is going to wrap up this video with the Hoyt Helix up against the Hoyt Axis Alpha. Both are great shooting bows. Both are an excellent choice. Um, I'd recommend if you have the ability of shooting both, go shoot both. Um, a lot of shops probably aren't gonna have the Helix in shop. And so you might have to buy it used. And so if you're looking to save a little bit of money, hands down, Helix, go for it. It is freaking money. I, I absolutely love it. I would shoot this bow all year long. Um, but I am giving it away, so I can't. I wish I could keep it, but someone is going to take this home. So if you haven't entered already, go buy a hat on my hat, on my website. And uh, there's 100 entries. Is also little, there's 20 left. Um, so if you buy a hat, get you entered. You have one in 100 chance of winning. If you buy two hats, one in 50 chance of winning. I'll be picking that winner here soon, as soon as I sell all those hats. Uh, anyway, let's get back to it. So honestly, if I was to go to a shop and buy either one of these bows. I'm gonna say the Helix, due to the draw cycle. Um, Axis Alpha doesn't really add any, it doesn't add anything, it's nearly the same bow. Um, Axel, Axel, I believe, is slightly different, if I remember, yeah. So the Helix does have a little bit longer, I think it's an inch, inch and a half, because uh, this is 29 and a half, and then this is 32 um, inch Axel, Axel, and so it is a little bit longer, so it could be the reason why it feels and shoots a little bit better in my hand. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna choose the Hoyt Helix, that, that way you guys kinda know my thoughts about this bow, and uh, just want to say a huge thank you to all the support that you guys show me. Uh, don't forget, you can literally win any bow that you possibly want by purchasing a decal on my website. It's 10 bucks for a decal. Max entries are 250, so you have one in 250 chance of winning any bow that you possibly want. Um, you can you know, buy as many decals as you want and get as many entries in as you want. Um, just want to remind you that it's all on hacksandhunt.com, so you can head over to my website and check that out. But Big thank you for your support. I do appreciate it so freaking much. I'm so stoked that I'm able to give bows away. This is going to be the second bow, and then this week I'm also going to be picking a winner for another bow with the decals. And so probably this week, maybe this week and next week, I'll for sure be giving away two bows, which I'm so stoked about. Um, anyway, guys, that is going to wrap up this video. And uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, like the like the video, leave a comment down below. Let me know what videos you guys want to see more of, and then we'll see you guys next time.